And I just realized that I'm so excited about sharing this training because it has changed my life so much. So all I want really is for people to know about it. And um, yeah, we'll see what comes out. <laughs> Uh, but I, I met the training for, uh, for four and a half years ago, and the first time I met with the community was here in Goa four years ago. And uh, it's amazing just to see what has uh, changed within the organization. The first time when I, when I came here, it was like a, a computer. We were watching video with Candice and the, on a small computer, and there were a few of us there. I don't remember, maybe 30 people or something. And uh, it was really hot because there were no fans, and uh, <laughs> it's just. And now we're here with this beautiful space, and there are people coming from all over the world, just uh, helping to set this up. It's so beautiful to see. Um, yeah. Okay. So what I want to share about is that um, I used to be a big control freak. I, I was really good at rearranging my, my data <coughs> and uh, keeping it in place. And um, I didn't think I was so disturbed. But then I always came to this place of affliction. And, and I, I kind of tried to find something that would help me. Um, but then uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then I, I um, every time when I came to, to th this place of affliction, I, I, I just um, felt that I, I was just a complete, completely disturbed person and I really, really needed to change something about me. And uh, it was a, a really tough thing because I had so much negative data and things that I didn't think I was allowed to feel. And all the time I tried to keep it away and not feel it. And it took so much of my energy all the time. I was very tired and I, I uh, constantly tried to fix my friends and fix their data and uh, trying to keep things in, in place. And uh, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I rarely felt joy actually. I didn't really know what that was. So coming here to this training and Amina, she started off by saying that uh, data is pure and perfect or something like that. Everything about us is pure and perfect. And just coming here and hearing that everything is pure and perfect, okay, everything about me is pure and perfect. I'd never heard that before. No one said that to me. It was like, this you can't feel, this you can't think. And, and it was uh, just uh, so relaxing to, to hear that, okay, there's nothing wrong with me. But then uh, it took me some time actually being with this training before, uh, <laughs> before I could really start allowing everything to be just as it is. And that has been um, so opening. And uh, today it's so beautiful to meet with people because uh, I feel that when I can allow everything in me to be as it is, knowing also that we all share so much there is so much that, uh, that I thought that I couldn't feel that many other people all over the world are feeling, maybe even at the same time as I'm feeling it. And um, so when I can allow everything within me to be just as it is, even the most afflictive things that I thought was like scary, scary monsters, like oh, I really, really need to keep this away. Uh, and then with the support, because to me, it required a lot of support and I've been really involved. But with the support, slowly I could let it, let it all just open and see that, wow, even this like really, really scary monster, there's nothing there. Nothing but just beneficial power and the open heartedness for me to meet with people and uh, to, to know more and more, just to know what to do in each here and now. Like I used to have, just all these planned, uh, really living by the r rule book, really knowing what to do in each situation. If this happens, then, then uh, I do this. And now just to be able to act spontaneously from this place um, and feeling so connected with everyone, doesn't matter what their data is, I just know it in myself so deeply. And that's been really beautiful. So just quickly, one last thing. I just want to say that I never thought I would be 
able to, to sit on stage and to say in front of so many people that I really, really love myself as I am. And uh, I, I thought that to me is pride and arrogance. Like, no, that you shouldn't say that, especially in front of many people. Like, but I really, really just love myself as I am. And that's uh, the most beautiful gift I could ever imagine.